Hey, what's up everyone? It's your Alter Tech back again with a new video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to get rid of the bloatware on your Fossil smartwatch. Now, this is the Fossil Sport. It should work with other variants as well. So first things first, I'll post a link in the description. I'll go with this uh, through you guys step by step. First things first, people, go into this website. And this guy, shout out to Hire On. This is on hackday.io. He made a very great tutorial on how to remove the bloatware. And as you guys can see, there is a ton of bloatware. Now, some of these are deactivated, but, uh, you know, they still take up some space. And uh, he did mention there was an app running in the background. He wasn't exactly sure why it wasn't supposed to be running, but uh, these things could actually slow down your watch. So let's go ahead and get to it real quick. Now, before we go into the bloatware, what he does mention is, uh, you know, you have to go into the developer settings. So uh, to get into that. Go into the main menu, tap on settings like so, and you need to go all the way down into system. And once you get all the way down to about, go into the build number. So I want you guys to scroll down to where it says build number and uh, keep on tapping that. And once you do so, it will say developer mode is activated. So to get back into the developer settings, go into settings. And once you have enabled developer options, it should be in the bottom over here. Go ahead and tap it like so. And uh, just scroll down. I really like this wheel on the side. So just keep scrolling down and right over here, you're going to see it says window animation scale. And it's going to say transition animation scale. So what you want to do is change it from 1 to uh, 5x like so or 0.5x. Uh, do it for the animation duration scale as well and it's going to make your watch feel a lot more snappier you're not gonna have that slow motion animation so this is step number one when it comes to making your watch feel a lot faster now in terms of actually making your watch work faster well that's going to come down to the bloatware and to remove the bloatware uh, there are some steps you'll have to take uh, number one people Okay, so first off, this guy, his instructions, it's for the Ubuntu operating system. I'm using this on a Mac. Uh, first thing, you'll need to install the ADB on your device, whether it could be you know Windows, Mac, or even Ubuntu. So uh, once you have ADB, I mean, I'll post a link in the description on how to install ADB. Um, but for the most part, once you have that installed down, it's pretty much simple. Okay, so once you have ADB, I want you guys to go into the settings like so. And I want you guys to go ahead and, and scroll down and enable USB debugging, ADB debugging, and uh, click on yes. And you want to enable debug over. Okay, now as for your smartphone, you want to have Bluetooth enabled as well. And you want to enable developer options as well. And to do that, you simply have to go down to your you know, uh, about phone and keep tapping on the build number as well. And it will say developer option has been enabled. So now you want to go into the developer settings on your phone. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, developer options. And I want you guys to go ahead and enable USB debugging. So let's go ahead and find USB debugging. Go ahead and toggle it like so. Allow USB debugging. Okay, so now here is a tricky part. Now in step number five, it says it wants you to enable Bluetooth debugging on the phone. Now I could not find that setting anywhere on the settings menu. So what I did do was go into the Fossil app, um, the Wear OS app, sorry. Uh, you open it up and uh, it should say in the advanced settings, it should say debugging over Bluetooth. So this is where that option is. I want you guys to go ahead and tap on that. Okay, so once you have that enabled, it's going to say host disconnected and target disconnected. So now what you gotta do is take your USB type C or your know, micro USB type C cable. Okay, so now once you have your phone connected with your cable to your laptop or desktop, basically what you gotta do is open up your command prompt or your terminal or uh, whatever you're using, maybe Ubuntu or Mac. Um, take these commands, copy them, and paste them and um, you hit enter and once you do that it's going to say host connected target connected okay so uh, just to be clear to uninstall the bloatware it does not require any root privileges and if you guys want to go ahead and read everything that's installed on your smartwatch uh, go ahead and use these two commands 
So um, let's go down here. I mean, for the first command, it's going to show you everything about the enable packages. And the second command is going to show you everything about the disable packages. Uh, it did not, these two commands did not work for the MacBook I'm using right now. So I skipped it. Uh, but these, uh, let's go ahead. So he ran these two commands and this is basically what he found. Uh, it's basically exactly what we have as well. So he said he found this Tick Health Watch Skynet enabled, you know, program running in the background. Uh, it shouldn't have been running. I mean, this is Movi. Uh, it should only be running Fossil and Android Wear applications. So basically, you know, it, just to be safe, these are these the apps which he's he knows for for sure is bloatware. So what you guys gotta do is go ahead, you know, uh, first run this command over here and uh, once you do that um, type in this and what you want to do is go ahead and copy these commands right over here from PM all the way up to here and once you have this copied copy and paste it hit enter and then it should say success and uh, basically what I did was I copied um, and pasted it one by one hit enter all the way down and that's how I was able to uninstall these uh, these bloatware. So um, that's it. That's pretty much it. You have you should have all your voice basically most of the bloatware uninstalled. And um, once you have everything uninstalled, you do want to exit this program. So what you guys want to do is type in exit and hit enter, and then you should be able to disconnect from everything. And what you want to do now is go ahead and clean up and type in ADB kill server and once you do that it should kill the connection fellow developer options you want to go down to USB debugging you want to untoggle that so now what you want to do is go ahead and restart your smartwatch just hold down the crown like this and tap on restart and then that's pretty much it you should be good to go and if you guys want to double check okay so let's uh so to double check and see if we were able to remove the bloatware let's go into the wear os app and i want you guys to go ahead into the advanced settings and tap on watch storage and as you guys can see most of the bloatware it has been removed and uh, i mean there are a few things here and there but for the most part we got most of the the major things you know for 99 bucks right now it's on sale uh, this is definitely a bargain so anyways people this is the fossil smartwatch hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please hit me up down below i'm glad to help hope you guys have a great and wonderful day peace